Hi everybody, um, my name is John, I'm an entrepreneur. I don't know what to call myself these days, so that's the title I go with. Um, I'm full of ambitious ideas, I try doing them all at the same time. I'm going to challenge you tonight to think differently. To think not in the linear fashion of building a single business, focusing on the business and maybe selling the business, but to think about solving solutions as you go. So in the 80s, I started um, a business called Micro Forte and I did it out of my heart, I want to make video games. And I dropped out of University of New South Wales, did an electrical engineering degree to make video games for a small startup company called Electronic Arts. Um, they're a very small company back then, very, very large these days. The problem with that idea was that I was following my heart, I wasn't following my brain. I made video games, spent three years doing that, living on the lounge room floor or the office floor, uh, never seeing family or friends, and realising that it wasn't working. I wasn't making any money. So I gave up. I became an account manager, worked for some IT companies in Sydney, also in Canberra. And realising that, um, you know, my dream was over, 1990s, my brain caught up. I realised that I had to think smart, I had to think very differently. My problem was that it wasn't just about making video games that really got me upset. It was the fact that I couldn't distribute them, I didn't have any, any staff. It was just so difficult to do. We're talking about the days of Pac-Man. So I realised that I had to think about the problem I was trying to solve. The problem I had was that I had no industry in Australia. There were no educators. There was no support, there was nothing. So I decided I would build the entire industry. And that's what I did. <laughs> this is an ambitious idea, and this is how I did it. It took me 18 years, but I achieved it. I created about 6,000 jobs and probably a billion dollars for Australia on an annual basis. So I created an entity called the Academy of Attractive Entertainment, a not for profit school. I'm going to go quickly now. Uh, based in Canberra, Sydney, Melbourne, Seattle, Louisiana. Uh, in, 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 in Louisiana, as well as we're about to set up in, in Adelaide. The school's not for profit, um, it's a revolution. It was created because we had no educational institution to create, create art. The next thing I created was the Developers Conference. That was actually to bring all the Australian developers that didn't exist at that time um, together uh, to bring international publishers and money people that could do deals. That got done, and it became a big thing. We then created the association to lobby government, and the association did a defective job of lobbying government until recently cancelled that funding, but that's not the story. Um, so those three things are the three building blocks that were needed to build an industry. Um, along the way, I decided to build more innovative things. And I did them simultaneously, all at the same time. And you can. And I know one person was talking about building a couple of different businesses at a time. You should. Don't focus on the mantra of building a single business at once. Solve problems. And if you've got a problem along the way, build a business out of it. And don't sell it. Keep it. If there's nothing best than owning it, a con a con you know, I call it a conglomerate around the world that's totally owned by you. What's wrong with that? Why do you have to flip anything? <laughs> um, so Canberra Technology Park was really a school in Canberra. And um, uh, sorry, Canberra Technology Park was an old, old school, was in high school, which we've been redeveloping over the last um, 16 years. We also built Canberra Business Parks. We gave them as a freebie to the asset development. Um, yeah, an incubator really is a business that takes our students, our graduates from Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne, Seattle, and Louisiana, and allows them and gives them free meals. What I mean by free meals, we give them free rent, free computers, free software, we give them cash, they can actually set up a business and everyone is accepted. There are no business plans. We do 17 startups a year. We donate millions of dollars in this venture. Um, we take nothing for it, we don't take any ownership of IP and so on. Why? Because that's how it should be done. So government should run things. But anyway, we're doing it ourselves. We created iFest, which is an independent film, uh, film festival or games festival for independent game developers. Again, we do that in Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne, we run that and we allow game developers to come together. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to mention Big World. Um, that's the thing I'm really known for. So I invented online games. Um, I did patents. I also invented a game, well, assisted the invention of a game called um, Call of Duty, um, which makes a better billion dollars a year. In fact, I've actually invented three billionaires so far. Um, the last one bought my business, which is really good. So I focused um, on making online games and online technology. Had about 60% of the Chinese market, made a ton of money, and I'm basically putting it back in. So now that I've got 45 seconds to end, um, I'm going to redefine education. I'm going to build in Canberra a film and games um, centre, a private university that will focus very much like the, um, I call the Stanford family did in the early um, 1800s or late 1800s, which is to really build a centre that will focus on game development, apps, all that sort of stuff, innovation. And it, my, my fundamental mantra is based that education, that job creation is largely immoral. Uh, in America, educators are not allowed to pump and dump students. Um, another thing that should be done in Australia as well. So I know this is very politically incorrect. I love being politically incorrect. So I'm going to be focusing on that. 
And I'm also doing it in Sydney and Melbourne, as I've just bought some resident you know, office blocks in Sydney and Melbourne to build those industries up as well. And I'm done. Thank you very much.